course, uh, being here, I couldn't resist the, the temptation of uh, giving you a glimpse of uh, Blub, uh, the artist uh, that teaches uh, statues and uh, famous people how to swim in the water. And he decided uh, to do this uh, exhibition in the National Archaeological Museum and uh, represent uh, Charles III of the Bourbons because uh, Charles uh, brought uh, his famous uh, Farnese art collection here to Naples, had a museum uh, built especially for it, and the Bourbons started excavation in Herculaneum in uh, 1738 and Pompeii 10 years after 1748. So that's why Blub decided uh, to do a representation of, of a king and then uh, um, hold his exhibition in uh, these rooms the next two pieces from Pompeii. Here we have a reproduction of uh, one of the uh, houses of uh, Pompeii given to the cult of uh, Egyptian uh, divinities and uh, underneath you can see the signature by Blub, mask, fins and a snorkel. This is uh, a reproduction of uh, Pompeii excavated uh, in the 1800s or what had been excavated uh, by then. And this is a Blub's version of Icarus falling from the sky. Here you can see one of the famous uh, Roman theatre masks uh, derived from uh, Greek drama, of course. So uh, Blub has done his version of this as well. This is uh, the Greek uh, poet uh, Sappho from the island of Lesbo. These are Roman uh, originals, uh, Roman mosaics uh, taken from Pompeii. So you can see where uh, Blub uh, took inspiration from for his uh, theatre mask. These are the actors uh, during uh, their plays. And this is one of them uh, with his mask actually off. So the question is always there to be answered. What do you actually prefer, the modern version or the ancient Roman version? I might be tempted to say I actually prefer the Roman version. This is a Bacchus, uh, the god of wine, uh, drinking uh, while uh, riding a tiger. In case you don't know what this is, it's uh, the most famous uh, mosaic taken from uh, Pompeii from uh, the House of uh, Dancing Faun and it's called the Battle of Alexander. It was probably executed uh, on uh, the base of uh, a Greek painting and uh, it shows uh, the great Alexander battling in the uh, Middle East, in the Middle East, in his uh, conquest of uh, the world. By showing this, uh, the owner of, of the house wanted uh, to claim uh, his uh, descendancy from uh, the family of uh, Alexander or one of his generals. And this is the dancing form. Does this uh, ring a bell with uh, Botticelli? Should you decide to visit uh, the National Archaeological Museum, you should be aware there is uh, this section called the Secret Cabinet where all the erotica from the Roman times uh, has been stored. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Blub's exhibition. And um, that's all from Sean uh, from the National Archaeological Museum and from uh, my favorite god of them all.